Woody from Sea Time here, guys. We're back with another video. This time, we're getting ready to go ride in Colorado. Oh. Nice, that was the line. So there's some preparation that needs to happen. I live in North Texas, Colorado, mountains, elevations, rocks, lot to prepare for. We're gonna do it quick. We're gonna have fun. Number one, we're gonna be putting on some IRC tires, right? The rear tire that we're gonna be putting on the JX8 Gekota. Then some Nitro Moose bibs in there. These are the 10 to 12 PSI ones. I do a lot more daily riding in North Texas, not a ton of hard enduro. So I'm gonna be putting these in, talking more about the longevity of the 10 to 12 PSI ones. But we've also got the VX30 for the front. So both of these are gummy tires with the respective Nitro Moose sizes that need to go in them from the fit guy that you can find on their website. Buckle up, it's gonna be fun. I've got my jorts. Let's get some fun going and get this bike ready for Colorado. If you're looking for an instructional video on how to install bib mooses, there is an older video that I have out on Seat Time Clips YouTube channel you can check out. But installing the VX30 and the JX8 Gekota on the rear was not the end of the world. Actually, the front tire with the 235 Nitro Moose was actually harder to install than the 305 inside of the JX8. Typically, it's the other way around. The front tire isn't really as bad, and the rear tire kind of sucks. Any tips or tricks that you have, make sure you put those in the comments so others can learn from everything we're doing out here on YouTube, enjoying getting seat time. Now it's time to get the rest of the bike ready to go ride in Colorado. Suspension and carburetor. I got the JD Jetting Kit for the 2018 Sherco 300 when I went in 2019 on this bike. The Lean Needle, which is the red top, I still use in the bike due to their settings. Now, I am going to be moving the, knee, the clip on the needle and I am going to be changing the main jet. After that, they say everything else stays the same. Worked great in 19, we're going back in 2021. If you remember, I just released a post about resetting mentally and physically getting back on the bike. Well, to do that, I reset my suspension. And so now I have adjusted my suspension again for Colorado. So a little bit less compression dampening, a little bit less rebound dampening, and a little bit less preload on the forks. That way the bike can sit a little bit more in the suspension, right, in the travel, and hopefully be a little bit more supple. I've had good luck with this bike before in Colorado, so I don't see that being an issue. So kind of going from those sports settings to those standard settings in the book will be a good place to start. Suspension is done, jetting's done, tires are on. Let's start packing everything else up. When riding in Colorado, the only adjustment that I make to my gear is I wear the Fly Racing Patrol pants just because I like having the pockets. They're a little bit more durable and I like the vents that they have on them because of the fact that the temperature can change quite drastically. On top of that, I do typically ride in a sleeveless vest, right? I ride in my jacket, I take the sleeves off, I put them in the back and I ride in the vest and because it has so many vents on it, I can stay fairly comfortable, but rain can come in so quickly, you wanna be prepared for that to be able to put your sleeves on quickly. The only adjustment I'm gonna make is I'm gonna be trying out the Liat X-Frame Hybrid Knee Braces. It's pretty interesting because the patella cup is separate. That's the hybrid part of this. So lots to share with you guys once we get some more time on those, get some more seat time, if you will. So what type of gear adjustments do you make when you go to new regions? What do you wear in certain places you wouldn't typically normally use or you wouldn't race or ride in? Let me know. <sighs> Let's keep getting packed up. Since I'm not out and about in Colorado nearly as much as someone who lives in Colorado, I'm a little bit more cautious. So I bring a, a few more tools than I would normally during a race. Got as many quick steals as I can carry with me just in case a side cover or something were to happen that I do need to fix this again to get back. If you get a hole in your side cover and you get a chance to replace it, but you don't have any oil, what's gonna happen? So one of the little lawn mower guys is a great way to bring some extra gear oil with you so that you can replace that or even just get yourself back, right? In that case, it's about getting you back. So a couple zip ties, get some hose clamps if you can get them. I've got some extra bolts. 
I've got my strap so we can get back if we need to pull somebody. And then here is pretty much my water, anything else I want to carry, and then a lot and lots of food. This is where I'm going to put my media stuff, GoPro batteries, extra cards, stuff like that. We're going to get this crap packed up. We're going to hit the road. Now that I'm back from Colorado, I've got a few lessons learned. One, I should have gone one tooth bigger in the rear sprocket. I've got a 50. I definitely should have gone to a 51. The other part is suspension and carburetor. While at the Tamichi Creek trading post, I should have taken a little bit more time to dial in the bike because it was still way too stiff and I was pinballing all over the place throughout the weekend. Also, the carburetor was really not running that great. Those are some learnings. Again, you can't make up for not riding. I hadn't been on the bike for very long and it showed. That's okay, I was there to have fun. I hope that you enjoyed this video, this idea of prepping for going to a place you have not been to either before or in a very long time. In this case, I was going to Colorado. It had been two years. It had been two years before that. So I wanted to make sure that I was as prepared as possible. Getting on the bike more is gonna make you more prepared. My legs were shot, my shoulders were shot, everything hurt, but I had fun. I never quit, even though I had quite a few interesting endeavors on the trail. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe for more good times on the internet talking about dirt bikes and other two-wheeled adventures. And remember, you can get any of the Seat Time shirts that you see at shop.seattime.co. If you'd like to support that, bring your Seat Time life into the real world by wearing some of the merch, we would much appreciate it. If we don't get a chance to see you on the trail, hopefully we get to see you on the internet. Enjoy getting Seat Time, and we'll see you for the next video. I know it's not like you're having a stroke. Yeah, <laughs> Kakoda.